Joining me now is the attorney representing Gilbert Flores' family, uh, Thomas Henry. Thank you so much for being here. You haven't been given access to the second video, but as I just said, a source says that it shows Flores charging toward police with a knife in his hand. Um, do you have reason to believe that is not the case based on talking to your clients, including the widow that was at the scene when this went down? Yeah, I have reason to believe that the video, first of all, speaks for itself. We've all seen the first video. That video does not demonstrate he's charging towards the police. It shows that his hands are up. Uh, we've had our experts look at that video. We have former FBI agents that have looked at that video that deal with these types of cases. And there's a serious concern about whether or not that imminent threat had dissipated, was gone. And if so, you can no longer use that type of deadly force. So additionally, and, and additionally, I have talked to people that witnessed uh, that incident. I was at the home last night visiting with the entire family. And uh, there are certainly very serious concerns about the second video and acquiring that second video. Uh, the sheriff has talked about the second video, uh, talked about there being a knife, but my review of this case with experts so far, whether he has a knife or does not have a knife, once your hands go up, once your aggression stops, the use of deadly force becomes a very major constitutional issue in this case. What has the widow told you, though? Because, like I said, she was in the home, and, and there was a 911 dispatch call saying that there was a domestic dispute, that she was injured, that Flores injured her and the baby. Well, first of all, there are some misrepresentations okay, that have occurred. Okay, so clear up the record. Uh, he did not injure a baby. Okay. That did not happen. I've met with the family, talked to the family. There was a domestic call regarding Mr. Flores and his wife. And can you tell us anything more about that? Was she injured at all by Mr. Flores? I mean, she had sustained an injury. Uh, the need for the officers to be there, that was warranted. Mm -hmm. there, there's no question that was warranted. But Mrs. Flores will tell you at no time did she ever expect that her husband would end up dead in a driveway with his hands up. So uh, although they had a altercation, um, there are two people that love each other mm -hmm. and never wanted this to happen. Absolutely. And I just have to ask, did this altercation involve a knife? Uh, between the husband and mm -hmm. wife? No. Mm 